We're going to create a scale sheet of harmonic minor scales and primary triads using Sibelius 7. I'll start out by selecting the treble staff. Um, make sure that you're at A4. And let's go ahead and add our key signature. And uh, I want to start with 8-1 because I'm going to put all of my notes, my whole notes, uh, all of my notes in as whole notes. And our key signature will start on A minor, and we'll do this in the circle of fifths. And then we'll go ahead and, and add in a title. And I'll come off. So here we have the, the scale here. So let's go ahead now. And next, go ahead and add in uh, a time signature for the chord measure. And uh, so there are going to be three chords for the primary triads. So we'll do that and that. And our cursor is loaded, and we'll put that in there. Then let's, next, we'll go ahead and enter in the notes using the end shortcut and then six and play the notes in. And then play the chords in. All right, so that's all the note entry I need to do. I'm going to then double click here, holding the command key down, then press the R key to repeat that. And so now I have another measure. And uh, but uh, when you're dealing with the first system, uh, the title and the composer were attached to that, so we need to delete that. Okay, so we'll delete those extras. And then I want to make sure that I have everything correct before I do all of copy and paste the rest of it. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go back into my time signature. And I have to make sure that allow cautionary is turned off so that when I paste it there, we get rid of the cautionary accidental. Okay. And uh, so, and then I'm going to go ahead and hide those. I don't need to see those at all. So using the shortcut there and there. Okay, so now we're ready to copy these. And so we select them and then just we'll just repeat them until we have 30 measures. Which, all right, so all of those are now there. Um, we don't need these extra measures, so let's go ahead and get rid of those. All right, so now we have all of our scales there. Okay, so our next step is then to transpose all of these into the correct key. Um, we're going to follow the circle of fifths. Um, ideally, we would change the notes and the key signature at the same time, but when we do that, we end up with a cautionary accidental, um, a cautionary key signature change at the end of each system. So that doesn't really work for us right now. So we're just simply going to go ahead and transpose them. I'll double click that line. And then I'm going to transpose the notes. It's best to transpose the notes first. Right? And so I can still transpose by key, but I'm just not going to select transpose key signatures and key at the start. And so we'll transpose this up to D minor. Right? And then we do that for each one of these key signatures. And right? we can use the shortcut. And so you can see, I mean, it's not, it's a little time consuming, but nothing terrible. Thank you. And finally, oops. Okay, nothing terrible there. All right, so now I need to enter in, add in all of my key signatures. So I just press key. Now the key, uh, the important part is, is that I need to be able to hide those. And so I'm going to select hide and then the D minor. And it didn't get loaded. Um, try again. Thank you. 
There we go. And you see, so now it, it hides that accidental there. So I'm going to do that for all 12 keys again. Um, this, I, I wish this dialog box would come up first instead of the other one. Um, and always set no there, because otherwise it'll probably make a mistake. Okay, and so we just have to keep doing this. And our very last one. All right, so we've got, got all of our keys in. We've got all of them um, looking nice. Um, everything lines up very nice. I need to hide these. Uh, time signatures in the first two measures. All right, so now the last thing I want to do is I would like to get this all onto one page. And to do that, we just need to go into our layout and just reduce the staff size until it gets all of the systems on one page. So we'll just keep going down until we get where we want to be. I want us as large as possible with all of them on one. Oops, still got to go down a little more. A little more. And there we go. Now they're all on one page.